advice you would give to future leaders, especially young women leaders and military spouses? And if you can work your quote into that, that'd be fantastic. I was going to say this is the perfect time. So I, the best advice that I love giving because it's something that I am living and breathing every day, and it is growth begins when comfort ends. And I think that's super, super important because, um, you know, we have to challenge ourselves if we want to continue going the extra mile. Oftentimes, if we feel ourselves getting a little too uncomfortable, whether it's in a job or uh, our our business or whatever it is, you know that it's probably time to start your next challenge. (laughs) If you had any advice to give young leaders, young women leaders who are kind of starting out where you started out, or even advice if you go back in time and give to young Jennifer Hart as she was getting started on this journey, Mm -hmm. what kind of advice would you give her about being a young woman leader? Uh, I feel like there's so much because like every step in, you know, the journey I've, I feel like I've learned so much. Um, I would say a, a big one is to find the smartest, most talented person in the room and shadow them. Like, just learn how they do things, be willing to be humble enough to accept their advice and to learn from, you know, people that are doing the things that you want to do well, because you will just, it'll expand your mind so much. And I, I don't think I would have been able to do any of the things that I've done without finding those people, whether it be at a job or at an organization or, you know, seeking them in in friends or really you can find them anywhere. Teachers are everywhere. So, you know, if there's something you want to do, just, you know, find someone that can kind of give you a leg up by showing you you know, the good stuff, showing you the way. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Look, look for mentors. And mm-hmm. I, I, will, I always give this advice when we talk about looking for mentors is don't be afraid to be a mentor. Yeah. And I would actually add one more thing to that as well is to just be yourself, like be, be, be yourself and to really believe in yourself that you can do the things that you want to do. And when you do find that mentor, don't let that scare you because there's always going to be, I think, you know, it's our tendency. Um, and I, a lot of creatives are this way as well. I I think people are this way in general. Like you look at someone who's doing better than you and you just say, I could never do that. Mm -hmm. I can never be as good as them, but like, you know, finding that mentor and really learning from them, but also knowing that like, there's always going to be someone that's better than you and someone that's coming up behind you. So Mm -hmm. like, you don't have to compete with anyone like just do you Mm -hmm. believe that you can do it and just be super open and willing to listen and learn because you will be better for it. Be part of that chain. Yeah. Be part of the chain and then, and be willing to give, give that teaching back. Yeah. Advice that you would give to future leaders, especially young women leaders. Who, uh, well, uh, from my experience, it would be somewhere along the lines that um, there are respective roles that both male and, and female are, are very good at. But one thing that a woman needs to know is she is capable of building her dreams and making them into reality. And that no external forces or opinions of society um, males or anyone else out there really truly matters but hers and it requires evolution of self in many layers and that this is deep but it is um, peeling and and piercing through the veils of the layers of programming that society has Uh, I can easily make that statement and you can make your dreams into a reality as a young woman but gender doesn't stop you from achieve achievements and you really, but there's there's an element that you cannot neglect your spiritual self and in the process of becoming who you are meant to be, and that is making the, the, the impact that you need to make in the world. And you need to learn to trust yourself and listen to those inner voice and guidance because they're there for a reason. Mm-hmm. What advice would you give to future leaders, especially young women 
who are starting or thinking about starting a business? My advice to give to anybody is if you have a passion inside of you that you know is something you want to do and pursue and you don't care what it takes to get there is to do it. Even if you don't have the money, you start small, you start mini, you start at home. You know, you, 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 don't have, you don't have to have the full plan in place. You have to have the footsteps in place, one step after another. So I think my biggest advice would be if you have a passion and a niche for something that you really want to do, do it. And don't be afraid. And then every time there's an opportunity, you jump on it. It's scary, you know. Um, I take risks all the time. I don't always know if it's gonna work. I invest in things, it may or may not come back, but I, I think somewhere in the big picture it comes back, but you know, that's, that's the biggest thing is um, the opportunity. Seek opportunity, it does not come to you. It, it, it may sometimes, you know, someone might notice you and pick you up and come and say, you know, we wanna do this or do that or highlight your company. Okay, you know, I've had a couple of instances like that, but a lot of them I have seek myself. I have pursued those relationships. I, I reached out to Iris Kyle. I walked up to her at the show and said, please let me feed you. I promise you I know what I'm doing. And she's looking at me, uh, let me prove it to you. So she did. She said, okay, all right. Like, you know, she asked me all the questions. I told her I could do it and I did it. And now I've been feeding her going on two years. Um, and her clients at her gym, you know, same thing with all of those guys. I've had to prove myself to them. So when you believe so strongly in something, you, even if you're afraid to walk up and tell someone, you still just do it. I, even if you're shaking, even if you're crying inside because you're panicking, like just do it. And that's, that has been the biggest growth for me through this company is being brave, you know, even on the way to this talk. I was in the car. I had to self-talk to myself. I had to prepare myself emotionally. Uh, you know, it's scary. And it's there's a lot of facing your fears when it comes to believing in your product and chasing it. What is some advice you would give to future leaders, especially young women mm -hmm. who are either becoming leaders or aspiring to become leaders? Learn as much as you possibly can. Listen as clearly and concisely as much as you possibly can. Pour into others around you while also pouring into yourself. If you can continue to learn, um, understand what others are thinking, how they're thinking, and help people grow you will there will always be a place for you at the table always it's not much you'll have to fight for um there will be times where you have to put up a put up a fight um but if you can always help others be better you'll be fine and you, and you you are a leader if you do that that is fantastic advice and a great place to leave it yeah